today the goal is to just have some fun. We are having a sew along this Saturday. And the goal in this sew along is to kind of raise funds for our PBS TV show. So we're using a donation pattern 214. Lauren's shawl collar. It's called Lauren because the original was a Ralph Lauren and very typical of Ralph Lauren, kind of just really um, very classic and yet with a little twist on it. So a little wrap with a shawl collar and of course out of a knit. So we're going to take it on different levels so that you can really see how much use you can get out of this pattern. So I want to show you two different things that I've done with this pattern in particular. So the first one, very simple. What I did is I used a woven for the facing. So just a knit, the knit is 4323. So you can kind of take a look at it, 4323. It's a great textured knit. It, I mean, I love the body of this. It's really beautiful. And then what I did is because it has to be knit, the body has to be knit. I just went ahead and used woven for just the collar piece just the facing piece, sorry, so the front facing. So it goes all the way down to the bottom, but when you press it to the inside, you won't see it. And that cotton is 4328. So this is a 100% cotton. It's a beautiful Italian cotton, a, kind of a dotted, but an asymmetric dot, a drunken dot, I guess we could call it. Um, and so all you do is everything's normal. You just, instead of using the front facing as the same fabric, you're just gonna use a woven and you can really use any fabric and, and that was the goal in showing you this textured woven knit anything can go and you can see where it really takes the focal point to that place and it just makes it beautiful so the next one I want to show you is the one I have on and I was inspired by this photo I'm going to show you this photo first and I love this photo this fabric that I'm wearing is 4328 I love this coat. I just kind of love this coat. The only thing I didn't like about it is if you look down at the sleeve, I didn't like those big, wide, sloppy sleeves. And I've noticed when I wear them, I don't like them, especially when they're like they are, how they're just gradually wider. If they're going to be wide, let's make them wide all the way down. But I felt like that look really made the whole thing look a little sloppy as opposed to I wanted it to just be a great wrap. So let's go through this and I want to show you a few things that are really fun. Great learning principles overall. But that's the one thing I'm going to use just the regular sleeve that comes with the pattern and make it just a tapered sleeve. All right, so let's look at the next photo and we're first, we're just going to do a little lesson in proportions. So the first thing we're going to do is measure, you notice this is knee length. So I printed out the picture and I measured the picture and from the back to the bottom her, at her knee, she's five inches. So it doesn't matter um, what you are, you want it to look that way on you, and I wanted it to be to my knee. So my back length, that same measurement, is 36 inches, one yard. So I took 36 and divided by five, and this is really simple, so don't get lost on me, okay? We're just gonna write down the numbers. So 36 divided by five, I was seven times, 7.2 times bigger than this photo taller, bigger, wider, whatever you want to call it. I'm 7.2 times bigger than what this photo is. Now, the only reason that's really important, because I know any of you could lengthen to the knee, is because on that back, I want to see how long that, or how wide that collar is, how dramatic that collar is. And I've got a back measurement on there, so all I had to do is measure that, times it, times the 7.2, and I could get what I wanted it to be on me. All right, so... I measured it and on here it's 1.8. I did that times 7.2 and all you need is a calculator and that comes out to almost 13 inches. Easy enough, got that? So I have all my facts with me. I know the styling now, I can tell what it is. And I'm gonna go to the next picture and these are the pattern pieces. So I'm gonna show you kind of how to translate it onto this pattern because first off, this pattern had five pieces. It has a front, a side, a back, a sleeve, and a facing. This one reduced it by a piece. It only has a front, a side, a back, and a sleeve because the fabric that I used and any fabric you used is reversible. And so I don't need a facing. I can just let it hang open and let it be however I want it to be. All right, so if we look at the pieces here in my three main pieces, 
I add, which is the front, the side front and the back, I added 11 inches and that, that brought my mine all the way down to my knee. Yours might be more or less. And the beautiful thing about this is everyone will look proportioned to their size. That's the whole reason for doing this is that if you just add 11 inches and you're a 5'2", it's just going to be too much for you. It's going to be overwhelming for you. And so if you scale it to your knee and make it proportional on you, then you'll look as great as the model does. That's the goal. Okay, so you can see in those three pieces where I added the 11 inches to the bottom, that was for my scaling. Then if you noticed how wide it is, the total width when I did the measurement times the 7.2, what I just talked about, that came out to be 13 inches. So I added enough to make that whole piece 13 inches. You can see that's the center back. So on a shawl collar, that's that center back seam up here. And I took it straight up to where the whole thing, I think the original, I think my size was already four inches. So I just had to add the nine to get to the 13. And then you can see all I did was take it all the way around to the bottom at the front. So if you open this up, you can see it goes all the way around to the bottom front. And that's just styling and you couldn't see on me. So that's exactly why I did the picture. But that's all this is, is adding that extension, curling it around. Now, originally what I did is instead of curling it around to the side piece, I just took it down straight. And then once I had it made, it just cut this off. So what I did is when I added that front piece and took it straight down, I realized I wanted this to just have this rounded front. I really wanted to wear it open. I wanted it to be really casual, a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt. And then this just goes on top. It's been cooler here. And this weekend we're going to a music festival and I, it's cold actually. I mean, not cold to you all, but to me it's cold. <laughs> so I wanted something that would just kind of be really casual, just kind of throw on. You certainly could make it without the sleeves. It would work really well without the sleeves as well because this kind of makes a sleeve. So this big vest would work really well also. The nice thing is, is um, you can't see the bottom, but it's straight, it's even. And that's because all the fit is incorporated through the princess seam in the front and the fitting of the back. And so it just fits really beautifully. All right, so that's all the changes I made. I wanna show you this next picture and it's how the back looks. And we're gonna talk about layout of the pattern versus the fabric. This fabric had a terrific um, selvage. In fact, because it's a knit, the selvage was so beautiful, I wanted it to look like the whole thing was hand knitted. And so I wanted to preserve that. And so I actually laid the pieces out from selvage to selvage. So typically, let me just make sure you're understanding that. Typically, if I'm laying out pattern pieces, I'm laying them along the selvage. This time I went from selvage to selvage. And that changed up. It's got a, it's not a stripe, but it's got a little bit of a pattern. So when you look at this picture of the back, which is I've got on, and I knew if I turned around, you couldn't see it. So I took a picture of this. You can see where it makes a little bit of a chevron where it comes into that, um, center back seam and that is the the width that I added and it's beautiful I mean it just lays really beautiful and then when I laid out all the pieces I started at the selvage with the 11 inches added and then cut up and I did the same thing with my sleeve so I want to show you here a picture of the sleeve and again even it's dark and it's hard to see but this this um, fabric has a beautiful it's a cotton poly blend it's mostly cotton so it's not a heavy weight um, fabric at all. It's, it's light and, and yet it's stable. I, mean, I just love it. I just fell in love with it. So in the winter time, I could really take it to a, um, you know, a darker t-shirt, not do the white. The white kind of signifies summer and lighter and et cetera, et cetera. I could change up the t-shirt and it would make a big difference. Belt or no belt, your call. But preserve that selvage. It's just beautiful. So whether you make it just conventional or non, the goal is to have happy sewing. And join us this Saturday, I sew along. We're gonna sew through this top. We're also gonna fit Laura. Laura's gonna be here and um, we're gonna fit this on her so you can make sure with this wrap that it fits beautifully. And the goal is to, again, have happy sewing. Thanks for watching.